Okay, so the generated code here is a little, it's going to drag along the top, so I'm going to manually fix it here. I um, just added a rapid move up to Z5, or it could be not rapid by doing G01. And um, just save my file. Um, dot tap is what Mach 3 uses. If you put it in quotes, Notepad will save it with the correct extension. And then I can preview that versus what I can go to machining and open NC file. My sample code. Um, and there we go. We've got clearance now. All right. So that's my inner cut. Let's do a pocket operation. You can right click and uh, on the face, face and make a sketch from face. These are actually really easy. Um, less processing to do. Here's my new sketch. I can just select it and machining, add new milling pocket operation. I actually get a dialog. That's the idea of the sketch here. Step over is how much overlap there is. Starting place, I use boundary, but it always gets lost when I hit OK. I have to reset it. 3 8 inch mill. The only thing I need now is to set my final depth. Um, it's pre-filled just because I did it earlier, but um, you have to set this yourself. I use the measure tool in SolidWorks to select the final depth, which I, anyway, so now I know what it is. Step down is uh, how, how much Z should be used per cut. I want to do this all in one cut, so I just put negative one. Um, I don't know why the feed rate is always so dumb. There you go. Hit OK. Now, as you can see in the upper object browser, let's minimize my tools, I have a profile and a pocket. I can reorganize them by just dragging. Let's do that, in fact, just for... I'm fine, I'll do it the other way around if you insist. There. Now my pocket will come first. If I select the pocket, um, look at that. Starting place is always center. Even if you choose boundary. Anyway, so I always set it to boundary. Generate the code. Oh, look at that. My profile operation actually got a lot smarter now that there was a pocket. There's these weird things with heeks like that. So. This looks correct. I'm going to just jump to the final um, outer profile and skip the other pockets for now. So once again, right click the face, face, make a sketch. OK. I know from last time that this sketch, um, the last four line objects were the inner cut. I don't need that for the outer. In fact, I'll get an error. I try and generate a profile for the outside and have an inside uh, sketch. So delete the marked items. Select my, come on, select my sketch. Machining. Profile. This one's going to be on the outside. It's going to be all the way through. So down to negative 0.55. I don't know why the feed rate's dumb again. Let's change it to 30. I think that's pretty much it. G0 go. That looks pretty darn reasonable. And I can see, well, yeah, there it is. We're actually getting clearance here too. So it's all working out. Now I could just do this and uh, have my whole piece machined. Um, this video is a little long, but really once you get the hang of it, you can probably do this for something simple like this, kind of 2.5D and um, in like three or four minutes, really. Um, you may have to fix some mistakes. Uh, I did have problems with arcs not coming out right, which I had to fix manually. Once again, that's why I use the approach of copy all of the output to Notepad. That way you can fix some stuff. You can also comment it. And uh, yeah, well, hope you enjoyed this and uh, it works well for you as it is for me.